Family of Caitlin Hernandez plans to honor her later today with a vigil to remember her life. The 17 year old was killed earlier this week after leaving on a walk with a friend. News Force Tawny Davis is live this morning with a desperate plea from Caitlin's family. Good morning, Tawny. Good morning, Diana. As more and more details come to light as to how Caitlin died, her family would choose to honor her with the vigil later today. Now, the Caitlin was just 17 years old and a high school senior at Roosevelt High School. She was found dumped under a drainage ditch off of Del Oak Drive just minutes from her home. The medical examiner officer confirmed yesterday that she was strangled to death. Her loved ones now living with now living on her loved ones now lining up the bridge with photos, candles, and flowers to honor her. Caitlin's mother, Angie, says that her and the rest of the family has struggled during this time. We're trying to stay strong for one another, but this is killing us and it's killing us. Caitlin's mom and her aunt, Crystal, say she went for a walk that night with a male friend. Police took that friend in for questioning and tracked down another person of interest, but so far, no arrests have been made. San Antonio police and Crime Stoppers are offering a reward for any information regarding this case. As for the vigil, it is ex expected to begin at 6 p.m. at 118 Ashland Drive, and they will end at the bridge of where she was found. For those wishing to attend, the family do ask that you do bring your own candles and balloons. Reporting live, I'm Tony Davis. Back to you.